Hello and welcome to Sketch Together. Uh, this is part of a series on Sketch Basics. And on this session, we're going to learn how to use layout grids. And this is super useful when you're working with responsive design or probably with CSS frameworks like Bootstrap. So it's going to probably help you a lot in your workflow and make your designs pixel perfect. Oh, I hate that word, but anyway, yeah, it's going to help you do that. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so let's learn how to work with layout grids. Layout grids will come in pretty handy if you're using CSS frameworks like Bootstrap. So, and these, usually these layout grids have around 12, col uh, 12 columns or six columns and or eight, but uh, the usually it's, it's around 12 columns. So let's take a look at how, what you can do. So as you can see here, there's a grayed out uh, area and that's my layout grid that is being uh, seen on my artboard and for example here I created a 960 pixels with layout grid of 12 columns and if you see I can my elements snap to those to that layout grid so as you would expect it to do and automatically the spacing and the sizing adjust to that cutter of 30 pixels so let's see how I did it so over here I go to uh, I select my artboard and I go to view canvas layout settings and here in the layout settings you will see how many columns I can add the total width of my layout grid and then also the offset usually you just want to center it and then then automatically let's say that I want it to be instead of 960 I want it to be 780 so if I were to do that automatically you can see see being updated in here in the back and it changed the gutter width it made the calculation to 15 pixels and that way it can keep it at 12 columns and my offset is the same i can center it and that way it will center the here and i can say you know what the gutter should actually remain at 30 and then after that it will make the calculations and, and it will change the column width so i'm going to cancel but you, you see how this can be really useful and sometimes i okay i'm going to cancel all of that I'm going to command c there you go so and for example here when you're working with responsive that was a layout grid for 960 pixels but sometimes you want it to be 1200 pixels and you can do that easily if you select that artboard and go again go to view canvas and then click on layout settings and you edit it something that comes pretty handy for me is using a website that's called grid calculator and here i can have a calculator that just tells me before i apply something you can say 1200 pixels and you know what it's going to be 12 columns and the gutter width should be 30 and my margins should be half of that so it should be 15 and see how it's uh, 70 30 and i can see it here it's 1200 pixels this is the uh the biggest size on when you're using a fixed width on bootstrap for example so i can see that that same thing it's being applied over here if i go to view canvas layout settings it's 1200 pixels 30 pixels gutter and the column is the column width is 70 and it's here i checked on gutter on the outside so there's 50 pixels here and then 50 pixels over here on the right so yeah if you don't want the gutter on the outside you can just remove that and that's it hopefully this helps you on your workflow and be a better designer using sketch